So Apex Legends Mobile's first ever patch notes for Season 1.5 is out right now. That includes map changes, Loba the new legend, and even some cool battle pass and store changes too. Apex Mobile tweeted that an icy wind rushes through the arena, cold snap, and it arrives tomorrow at 5pm PST. The patch notes are exactly what we are looking for in the game, so let me read through them quickly for you now. Incoming transmission from the dev team. Greetings legends, with the release of cold snap we wanted to take a moment to reflect on and celebrate the launch of Apex Legends Mobile and give you an update from the development team. First of all, we want to thank everyone that has joined us on our launch. We are so humbled and grateful for the community's response to Apex Legends Mobile. We are blown away by the passion and creativity of the community and we are excited to iterate on the game with you. Prime time was just the beginning. We really appreciate you all being vocal and sharing your feedback with us. This is how we'll continue to make the game better with your continued feedback, be it good or critical. Some of the things we heard from the community as urgent fixes are frustrations around the rank system, how bans are handled in normal matches, matchmaking optimizations, performance optimizations for devices and servers. We are continually checking our data to evaluate the game's health and performance, and we'll be relying on that as well as the community feedback as we collectively build on the game together. Let me just skip to the good stuff for you guys, okay? Our goal with Apex Legends Mobile is to facilitate a highly competitive mobile experience. We will continue to iterate with the key focus of low latency so that players are playing with a similar experience on their device and matchmaking with players of similar skill sets, so skill-based matchmaking. Now, regarding the topic of bots, the dev team does see value in employing bots in various parts of the game. However, our main goal is to provide a competitive gaming experience for our players above all else. Exposure to bots should diminish as you play more and increase your skill level. We'll continue to assess and iterate on our matchmaking over the upcoming seasons. Please continue to share out your thoughts. So let's start with that guys. Bots in the game. It looks like they are looking into it. Obviously the higher the ranks you go the less bots are in the game but that's not really the case. In Predator lobbies we're still getting a ton of bots so hopefully the developers can fix that in some way but that will probably take a long time to come. Now we already know that the new legend Loba is coming. You can see a picture of her right here with her thick ass thigh. She's looking juicy as ever. It gives you a little background on her, her passive, her tactical, her ultimate. Save that for a future video for you guys. Now let's move on. A new limited time mode, Armed and Dangerous Shotguns and Snipers is coming to the game. This is exactly what the community wanted. It's such an insane game mode. It's probably the best game mode in Apex Legends, PC and console, and now it's going to come to mobile. You guys are really going to enjoy that. We got to experience it in one of the betas, so I can't wait to play it in the actual main game now. Now let's talk about the map. It looks like here Winter Warfare has taken over World's Edge. The Climatizer will turn off and on during the course of the match covering parts of World's Edge with snow. When the Climatizer is on you can check your mini map for frosted loot boxes, collect diamonds from them frosted all over and you can use those diamonds in the seasonal shop. And then we have an exclusive guys, a brand new weapon which we did talk about yesterday in my video that a new weapon was going to come to the game but doesn't look like it's going to be a weapon that you can shoot bullets with. It is a snow grenade. It looks like a new throwable item that damages and slows enemies when it explodes. So that kind of sounds like a sticky bomb. It looks like maybe you throw it on the floor and then enemies run through it. They get stuck. But, you know, if Bunny Hoppin's in the game not good to matter, you know. Then they go on to show us a seasonal shot. We can see, as I've said before, there's some brand new icy cold weapons and brand new sort of blue and, you know, white skins to, to, you know, celebrate the sort of winter theme. There's also a brand new battle pass called Cold Snap. Remember, guys, you can get a free one of these. All you have to do is make sure you complete level 50 of the first battle pass, prime time. And then there's also a section for bug fixes and improvements. So it looks like they've optimized Wraith's base visuals. They've also fixed an issue where players were unable to adjust the auto ammo pickup settings for the peacekeeper that's not that big they've adjusted several replicator spawn locations that is important because they're spawning all over the place they've also fixed several spots on world's edge where players would get stuck or blocked on the terrain that's amazing to see you guys know that you get stuck running through doors so it looks like that's probably going to be fixed there's also some mountains as well that you can actually get stuck in in cliffs so that's going to be fixed too they've also fixed an issue where mirage players would experience lag when taking out a weapon after activating their ultimate ability that's been in the game since one of the early beta so I'm glad that's fixed too. They've also fixed the slowdown effect of Fade's ultimate ability. All in all, guys, this is great. I wanted to get a really quick video out there. This isn't well edited or anything like that, but I wanted just to show you some of the patch notes of the new update that's coming to.
tomorrow. I'm going to be able to show you a lot more tomorrow. So make sure you got your sub notifications on. And just let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you think this is a good update? I'm so glad that Respawning, you know, finally reacting and interacting with the community and really listening to our feedback. I love that they're giving us patch notes for each season now. The patch notes that's called, the new season that's called. It's technically not season two. Season two will come next month in July, but it's season 1.5. But regardless, if we're getting a season 1.5 that looks this good and we're getting Loba, the thick thighs, then I'm happy. Gonna keep this video short. Make sure you tune in tomorrow daytime. Make sure you hit a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!